Hello and thank you for watching the installation video for the Rifle Basics replacement trigger system for the Remington Model 700. To perform the installation, we'll need the following tools. A drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, needle nose pliers, and a 1 8 inch nail punch. To get started, the first step will be removing the bolt action by depressing the stop release located just in front of the trigger. As the bolt is removed, we want to make sure the gun is unloaded. After removing the bolt action, we have to remove the stock from the gun and the barrel by removing two bolts on the bottom of the gun with an Allen wrench. The barrel and the stock should now separate from each other. We will now remove the OEM trigger. The first step is to remove the E-clip, followed by the flat detent bar, and then the detent ball. Next, we will slide out the pivot pin on the other side of the assembly, remove the bolt stop release, and the safety switch. Next, we'll turn over the receiver and utilizing the nail punch, we'll remove the rear factory retaining pin. We will now remove the bolt release and bolt release spring. Next, we'll remove the front factory retaining pin again using the nail punch. With this removed, we can now remove the entire Remington factory trigger assembly. Now before we can begin installing your new LV-1 trigger, you will need to use the drill with the 1 8 inch drill bit to clean out the retaining pin holes. This will ensure the new pins provided with your LV-1 trigger assembly will install with ease. We will now begin the installation of the new Rifle Basics trigger. The first step is to remove the plastic pins provided during shipping. The next step is to reassemble the safety mechanism. First, we will reinsert the safety switch, followed by the stop release. Next, we will reinsert the pivot pin, which holds the stop release and safety switch in place. With the safety in the fire position, we'll want to install the detent ball, the flat detent bar, and the E-clip. With the safety mechanism reassembled, we can now mount the trigger in place and install the new included forward pin. You should be able to insert the pin using your fingers. We will now reinsert the bolt stop spring and bolt release. Next, we'll insert the new rear pin, again using your fingers. We are now finished installing the new trigger, so we'll need to replace the stock and reinstall the original bolt. Final step is to reinsert the bolt action and the installation is now complete. We would like to thank you for purchasing your Rifle Basics replacement trigger system 
for the Remington Model 700. For more information on Rifle Basics and the complete line of replacement trigger systems, visit us at www.riflebasics.com. Thank you.